Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf. You are knowing how all my adventure is going. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day because I have more creature collector games you probably have never heard of. So welcome back to the creature treasure hunt. And these first three are games that I played before on my Steam account for a random variety stream. And the last one is going to be a game that I've heard of, but never got the chance to play back then. Just because I, I didn't have any money. <laughs> but uh, I can finally get to try it out now. And the first three games, I will only have 30 minutes of recording. Then the last one, I will do a hour of recording. Just because it's a new game and I get to try it out. But the, these first three, I've already played before and I can just talk about it and get all the gameplay and stuff out of the way. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, first game up is Nexomon. And Nexomon's little description says, catch, evolve, collect over 300 unique Exomon. Establish the ultimate Nexomon team to save your friends and save the world. Clash against legendary champions and become the hero of this, well, in this epic adventure. So, I played Nexomon before. Nexomon is actually very fun. I would say it's more of a budget Pokemon game. So with every game, like I've said, I'm going to give 30 minutes that I've played. If I played it before, it gets 30 minutes. But even with that said, Nexomon is actually very interesting. It's simple. Very, very simple. Let me just go ahead and load it up here. I have more time played on the mobile game than I do the PC. Uh, the differences between the PC and mobile is that the mobile version has gotcha in it. Why the PC version does not have any gotcha in it. So you can just come up here, look at all your monsters you have. And you also got your potions, your stamina. This this does go off a stamina system. It's similar to Tam Tam, but like I said, more simplified. And I'm going to show how much more simplified it is. So. Hold on. There we go. It's more simplified to where... The abilities themselves, some of them are very, very OP. Some of them are not. But the most unique thing I love about Nexomon is that you can just turn off abilities, turn this on, you can put that on. You don't have to use an item like Heart Scale to go back and relearn an ability. You could just have it available to you at all times to where you can swap out. But you still have the maximum of four abilities. Uh, Nexomon does not have any passive abilities at all. They do have the whole type advantage thing, though. And they have their rareness. Special rare is just, you know, starters, I believe. And then you have your stamina, you have your attack, you have your defense, and you have your speed. You have your HP. So simplified, it doesn't have any, like, magic attack or... Magic defense, special defense, stuff like that. It is just straight up defense, speed, attack, stamina, HP. That is pretty much it. So as I'm re-recording this, um, you can change your sprite. You have the main characters right here. And then I remember that these are the the overlords you're supposed to be challenging <laughs> for some reason <clears throat> oh excuse me for some reason you can uh play as the overseers the gym leaders basically you can also put in you know some sprites that will follow you it's interesting in that sense because that's something i kind of wanted to do for my game monster girl utopia for monster girl utopia i wanted to actually have like sprites you can actually change to and use 
but I wanted to have like a bigger selection in this and I kind of wanted to lock Tom behind like achievements and stuff so we can gain more of them. Uh, this, this game does not have any uh, more sprites than this. I'm pretty sure this is it. That's said and done on that. Uh, they do have up to 310 monsters and they are completely done with this game. Um, do side, uh, side note for this. They do have a second game called Nexomon Extinction. And I have not played that one. That one will probably be on the next video. And not only that, uh, here's the decks as well, the database of everything I've encountered and caught so far. But yeah. They also have another game that they're currently working on, which is Nexomon 3. And this one is in 3D, which I'm interested to see what they do with that. I'm looking very much forward to it. So, from where I last left off, I think we were looking for the gym leader? Or the overseer? For one of the gyms? So any grass that is shaking is where you would encounter a monster or a nexo. I knew it. Okay, effects in this game, I do want to say, are very, very OP. Paralyze is OP. Bound, bind is... <laughs> well, no, strangle or choke. I guess you would call it bind. Those are OP for no reason. Like, as you can see, I got my turn skipped twice. At this point, I would just try and throw one of these. So you do have two forms of traps to catch a monster with. You have the normal Nexo trap. Then you have the golden Nexo traps, which are basically, which are basically um, Master Balls. You can actually find more of the Godens around the world since the PC version doesn't allow you just to buy these straight up. Why, I think, the, if I believe correctly, the mobile game allows you to buy more Godens. So if you're like a big spender, the, the mobile version would be for you. But if you just, you know, want to play through a normal playthrough, then this would be up for you. I believe Nexomon is free on a mobile but costs on PC. But you would also have to buy the Overseer sprites on mobile because those don't come in free. I think that's what they're charging you for is for the sprites, actually, is what I feel like they are. So normal Nexomon, it goes for $10 at the moment. Why Extinction is going for like $20 base prices. Nexomon 3 isn't out yet. I don't think there's really been too much news about it. And I'm pretty sure I can encounter legendaries right now as we speak. There's just like a very, very low chance of encounter, obviously. Let me grab this item. Oh, sh nice, nice. So as long as I'm walking in grass that isn't shaking, I don't get an encounter. So we do need to go back to the market and buy some more traps. This is the beginner area. Uh, yeah, I think this is it, right? No, this is... That's the center. Here's where we buy more traps. There is no other different variants of traps. There's only Nexo traps and the Golden traps. Uh, I don't believe there is pvp i think there is it's just story and that's it 
I'm not sure if this is the same thing for Extinction. Extinction could be different. But all I know is for the first game, Nexomon, is I haven't seen any PvP, even from playing the mobile game so much. I think the mobile game, I stopped in like the volcano area, so I'm still like pretty early on, basically in the second area. Let's see what we find. I'll just see you again. Let's choke you before you choke us this time. Ah, I failed. You're gonna choke me on G. Okay, now. That sounds like a kink now that I said it. <laughs> I feel ashamed of myself. <laughs> but, uh, there is XP share. Oh! This is perfect, because in the first video I recorded, we didn't show evolving. Now we get to actually see the evolving on, on this one. So it's actually great that I did this the next day. I chose this one just because it reminded me of, like, that, uh, legend. What was it? It started with, it like, a Q. It's like Mayans or something like that. I think that's what this is inspired off of. Uh, got potion. I believe NPCs do give items, too, if you talk to them. I don't know. What's in this one? I'll say some of the designs are pretty sick. But yeah, there is share XP, obviously. So, in this, you don't have to, like, you know, just swap back and forth or anything like that. I don't think there is any, like... I want to say just distributed them more to the one you're using, from what I know. Even if you catch them... Hold on. Yeah, when you catch them, you don't get any XP. Which is unfortunate. But yeah, Paralyze and Bound, or Strangle, it it's so broken because you get as long as you have that effect you get no attacks off at all there is no chance of it just being like oh hey you know you have a chance of attacking during that moment it's like no these effects are actually strong but they do not stack either so if you put poison onto an enemy then you But yeah, if you put poison on an enemy, do you sleep them or, you know, paralyze them? They automatically get replaced. So that poison gets replaced with sleep. That's why I say it's more of a simple version of Pokemon. But if you're looking for a simple mobile game, I would definitely say Nexomon is definitely right up there. Actually, that makes me think. Do you guys want to see mobile games on top of this as well? Okay, you're bound, so I'm just going to throw a trap out. See if we can just ca start catch you off that. I actually don't know if the traps even have a chance just because of the lower HP. Depends on other factors. So I guess they did do the whole how low HP is. I don't have a stun or effect that I could just throw at them. If you do die you have a choice between going through the lat going to the last checkpoint or loading a save it doesn't just flash white and white and just take you to a gym well take you to a center okay this is getting annoying 
Like, what the hell, man? You're not even all that good. If you don't get in the damn fucking trap... <laughs> Come on. You're being a real douche right now is what you're being. Like, I really don't even want you for real, but jeez, I'm trying to complete something. <laughs> now I gotta go all the way freaking back. Screw you. I'm not getting into party. Get out of my face. I gotta go all the way back because of you. That long walk. But as you guys saw, the center has the same effect as Pokemon to where it puts in all six of your uh, monsters, then heals them. <laughs> as I say so. Obviously, it's inspired by that. But you guys are gonna see three games this video that basically inspired me to make Monster Girl Utopia. And Nexomon is one of them. Because Nexomon had a few ideas that I actually enjoyed. Towards like the whole swapping abilities out without having to go to an NPC. I like that, but uh, it also made me think that maybe I could do a lot better than just that system. We shall see. Oh yeah, that's I remember this. This is the guy we launched across at the start of the journey. I'm gonna start skipping through story so we don't have to just sit here for this. Oh god, he's still alive. This guy is basically Budget Team Rocket. By himself. <laughs> Poor guy is just a punching bag, really. Now you're gonna see how OP Bound is. Because now I can just do this. Oh yeah, rocks are affected by wind. But uh, the monster that comes out automatically gets an attack. Doesn't matter about the speed or anything. They automatically get their turn, no matter what. Just so it isn't a sweep. Uh, I haven't seen any buffing abilities, or debuffing abilities, really. I've only seen status effects when it comes to Nexomon. Oh my, <laughs> what that mouth do? Now I've taken a lot less damage than I would have if... <laughs> If I would have just, you know, normally attacked him. There is no, like, spike trap, toxic tr spikes, or anything like that. No setups. Oh, that's the Overseer. I don't know why I expected him looking different from what I remember. Like I said, literally the punching bag. Yeah, all the overseers are supposedly looked at as evil. Supposedly. Can I get my stuff? No, let me get my shinies. Like I said, he gets the Teen Rocket treatment. Poor, poor guy. I, I'm sure we'll find him later on in the adventure, too. That's the sad part. <laughs> no, 
nice, nice. Um, the game does auto save. There is no way to turn off the auto save. What do we have here? Huh, that's weird. Bind does not is not working for normal field monsters. Oh, whoops! I didn't think that would kill you. I wasn't paying attention to the initial damage it did. I also think damage is is set too. So it doesn't have like a random range between hitting hitting like let's say a number between 23 to 26 it would always hit like 26 depending on that defense that that monster has so i think the attack itself is set to like an actual number oh yeah you could just walk in front of like most trainers that don't have like a little gap in front of them. Most of them won't just like throw you directly into battle. So this is what he looks like. Oh, there is debuffs. Okay. That's my first time ever seeing a debuff in this game. That's the funny part. Huh. Okay, now I'm seeing some I've never seen even inside of, like, the mobile. I like his little design. I want him. This rooster reminds me of um, an anime that's coming out called Rooster Fight. He reminds me of that design for some reason. Of uh, the main character. And then there's you. Oh, dear God. Okay, good. From what I remember, that has a low chance of actually hitting. No! I kind of wanted to shrink you because I'm running out of stamina. Ah, crap. I gotta, I gotta change. Oh, dear God. Oh, great heavens. So, yeah, you can still sack your, sack your monsters. <laughs> I think the one that is out doing combat does get a more oops, does get more XP. Wow, that wait a minute. That sounds like the RPG maker noise. There's paralyzed. Yeah, okay. The ones that do fight do give more. So it's basically like XP share. And I believe if they level up. Yeah, if they level up, they get all of their HP back. And 
Anything here? Ew. Get out of my face. Yeah, see? About that distance. They, they won't just directly run at you like complete psychopaths who are just ready for anger. Look, no, never mind. He has a vein popping out of his head. I spoke too soon. That man was ready for aggression. Part of me is now happy that uh, the first recordings did not go through. Because now I'm able to see a lot more. Oh, he actually looks sick, too. Was that a healing ability? Oh, no, that's something else completely different. What the hell is that? I don't know what the hell that is. So I hit for 26 there. I hit for 25. Okay, so there is a slight little multiplier. Randomized multiplier. Oh, I have any of that confuses. Oh, rude. What the fuck? <laughs> Sore loser is what he is. So now what I can do is come in here. I can take off one of these effects. Um, let's take away this. Or should I? Should I replace it with this instead? I mean, that costs 11. I guess I could use Choke instead. Super Potion? Okay, cool, cool, cool. What are we getting? Ah, it's you again. At least we get to see this ability. Uh, we didn't get the confused part of it. But instead of the sleep, let's change it to something else. Maybe we can find something? Oh, oh my god, dude, you're everywhere apparently. I'm trying to see the confuse effect of it. Okay, so we're heading to the Cano area. Oh, I guess that way was the Cano area? Is this really a loop? Oh, it is a loop. Huh. I swear. Oh god. Oh my. Okay, dude. I'm. I'm already sick of you. Die. Perish. Oh, I think we leveled something. <laughs> I just pushed enter way too fast to see it. So we can also go down here as well. Okay, so we're getting closer to the volcano area. We have you. Oh, grass. Okay, so now all of a sudden this one shots people. <laughs> ah, the flamingo. Oh, so you only got one attack on that defense floor? Weird. Okay. 
kind of want the little flamingo. Okay, the little flamingo is going to be a little shit. You're going to cease this behavior. Ah, damn it. That's not what I was doing. Ah, uh, it pops back up on abilities. Okay, keyboard is not smart. <laughs> not smart to use. Oh. So, this increases my attack? Okay, so there's both buffing and debuffing. But that also makes me curious, since I... Oh, no. Okay, it is both buffing and debuffing. That can be up at the same time. So, we're good on that. <laughs> Career one shot, okay. Where are we doing a sweeping run? Okay, yeah, we can just sweep. Good old sweeping, you know. Sweep them under the rug where they belong. What is this? Ew! Ew! Murder it in cold blood. Disgusting. <laughs> okay, so that's basically uh <laughs> next <on> my <laughs> Uh we're at the 30 minute mark, though I should definitely change games now because um I won't have the full day to record everything. I think I'll probably only get be able to record two things today. Then I'll get the rest uh, tomorrow. Then hopefully I can upload it the same day. Hopefully. The bigger challenges have, you know, slapped me in the face. All right. And that's where we're gonna end it, catching that little shit right there. We're gonna just make sure to save. Ah, oh, I just got an achievement. Nice. All right. On to the next. All right, the next one is Fate Tactics. And Fate Tactics is another game that kind of inspired a lot of things I'm going to be adding to Monster Girl Utopia. And a lot of interesting things have gone on with this game, especially if you want like a more tactical version or turn-based tactics version of a creature collector and as you can see creature collector so anything that pretty much has creature collector in its tag on steam is where i'm going to be taking in to accountability so if it doesn't look like a creature collector then just complain to the developer for putting the tag anyway <laughs> uh in the world of fate tactics Follow a young user named Fioni. I think that's how you pronounce that. Phony? Fioni? Whichever one. On her journey across a vibrant world full of mystery and danger, summon allies, cast spells, and befriend a crew of characters as you dive into the growing conflicts between man and magical beings known as Fae. Now, I played a little bit of this game, not a whole bunch of it. It was actually pretty enjoyable. Um, Faye and the next game are both games I played for a random stream night. And I've only played like three hours and changed the games of both of them. And Faye actually was actually a very fun tactical game. Um, I guess I could show around. You have the main party, which are party members you find through 
the game itself. As you go on, you can just swap them out. Doggo is more of a tanker. Bird is more of a water monster is what I would say. And when I mean water monster, I'm not talking about a attribute. I mean, if it's in the water, it, it's OP as hell for no reason. But it does. It's a healer. Technically, technically, it's a healer, but it's OP as hell in the water. <laughs> Then your character is more of a crit damage machine, if anything. Oh, yeah. You could change their traits, too. Uh, they have scrolls that they can change out that have different abilities. Like this one gives more evasion. This one gives more accuracy and ignores attacks and ignores reaction skills. And some of them are increasing all earth allies all together and stuff like that so if you want to make like a whole earth team you can if you want to make a whole wind team you can uh they do rank up the more times you get a certain scroll this scroll last video that i had recorded of it at first this was at like 25 hp it was ranked two i got another one and now it's ranked three so yeah you can also change your stats too and put it into anything as much as you want. It doesn't matter. I put Doggo more on defense, if anything, because Doggo is specialized in defense. And I put Bird kind of on the whole aura thing. But I'm thinking more of assistant power, if anything, slowly. Uh, then you have your summons, which are very, which are separate from your actual main cast. These are the main cast, and these are the monsters you're collecting and summoning and creating a party out of. There are quite a few of them, quite a few, and you could change them out by these orbs. So this one costs two orbs. These cost one orb. Uh, then you have spells that you can actually like use on the battlefield. Uh, oh, I have haste. Did not know that. True size. Immune to blind. Immune to burn. Huh. I think I might take that region. Then you have the camp to where you play this little card revealing mini game. That gives you an extra buff for the next battle that you go into. So the, you just match your cards and you have a chance of picking picking up rotten food too. Just to waste more time. Because as you pick up that rotten food, it decreases your timer. Uh, then you have devices, which is basically like crafting stuff for your character. I don't think it's... I don't think it's interacting with any of the other characters, but... Once you fill this out, you will have a bike that is that will get you through all terrain. And you have a glove that will give you more XP as you play. You're collecting these as you, you know, fight enemies. So you can go into free battle and gain more of these and just farm them. Have this as well for blueberries. And this is what I got last video before, you know, the cordon didn't go through. <laughs> Anywho, you can increase the capacity of how many you could bring. You could bring up to six summon, summon caps. Then you have this for increasing elementals that are fire and earth and water, wind, ice on this one. Arcane and electric on this one. Then survivability for wounded ally leaders and capacity one gain gut skill stuff like that and increase your spell damage and this is another one i got last video too uh reveal hidden items on the battlefield increase the rate of value of the hidden items increase the rate of value on the hidden items and that's pretty much it 
that's pretty much the basics of all this stuff down here that you're going to be interacting with. Hold on, let me turn off this or I'm just going to be clicking off of screen. Okay, so we got to go through a story. Let's go through. Let's go through this story. That'll be explained a little bit of this certain stuff you can expect. So I believe we're on a search for our mother, if I remember correctly. And it is pixel because if you guys, I know a lot of people like the pixel art style. But if you haven't realized, you know, it's, it's Pixel. <laughs> Which is right up some people's alley. Honestly, this is a good Steam Deck game. That's for sure. For what I played during that uh, random stream... I actually enjoyed this a lot. But I will say this, the way I did that stream was weird. Just because I've seen one of my favorite streamers, uh, Soto Poppin, do it is that he did marbles. And... It's basically an app to where you would have marbles and you can name them. Then you can have them race and whichever one finishes the race, the race first is what is picked. That's the way he did it. That's also the way I did it. I enjoyed it, but <laughs> some of the maps were terrible. Some of them were way too long. But it, it was fun and enjoyable. Just having the game picked that way instead of like spinning a wheel, you know? I'm guessing you're the person I'm going to beat up there. Oh, crap. I, I just realized I had the mouse hold down. Okay, so victory. Destroy all enemy leaders. Uh, All enemy leaders are defeated. Ally. NPC is defeated. Oh, okay, so I got to protect her. So I'm guessing you're the enemy leader. Oh, yeah. So I guess if it has this little symbol right here, it's enemy leader. Oh, no. If they have ultimate, it's... Yeah, okay. Yeah, if they have ultimate, because I forgot about this. My character has an ultimate right here. So once this gauge is full, and this is full by, you know, attacking or Daga's active going off and protecting people. His builds up. And it's a good thing that we have water here because Bird is going to be doing some serious damage here. I wish I could move him somewhere. But uh, yeah, we're pretty much set to go. Okay, now our monsters are on the field. So Bird is able to fly over most terrain. Is able to perform combo attack with adjacent. Oh, uh, when adjacent to an enemy. Uh, Pierce as well. Hit directly behind enemies. It also has the Wrath ability, so if I was to wait one turn, I can get plus three damage added on. And it also has True Sight. This can't be... Oh, the attacks can't be evaded. Can target cloaked enemies, and it's immune to blind. So let's go. Okay, here's a mana orb for ults. Uh, we're going to have Doggo defend everyone right here. Damn, okay. So we'll have him defend everyone right here instead. So MB is basically barrier. 
mana barrier. As you saw, Doggo protected and also got an ult added on. I'm going to buff Bird a little bit. There we go. So she does do her own thing. Oh, if I grab that, I get the... Damn, I can't even get to that. I oh, know, doggo blind. I can get bird to that water. I also have this one for healing. He can group heal and cleanse. Dog can still protect from all the way over here, which is great. I like how they're riding on little beetles. Oh, she burnt. Nice. You should be able to finish her off. Ew. Is that a spell card? We're going to start moving, like, more upward here. Just to protect Bird and kind of lure them down from up there. So yeah, I just picked up, I think, a Talisman. You're just going to keep boosting him up there, huh? Just keep giving me even more barrier. Thank you for the barrier. Yeah, hit him with some massive crits over here. Bird turn? Yeah. You fools. Do you understand what you've done? Ah, bird. Right here. Probably not right there, actually. Oh yeah, does this turn not process that I'm in the water? I think Doggo just leveled. Oh, you jerk. Let it die. My barrier!
There's no friendly fire, as you guys saw. I think I'm reaching bird. No, I am not, apparently. And it's showing that the bird is now boosted. So I think it didn't count last round. Oh, you're almost dead. I uh, oh god, they used the card. That's not good. Nice, nice. Doggo can't defend against AoEs. Ah, darn. Evasion. Oh, nice return. Okay. But Doggo can't defend and gets a uh, 101. Okay, my cards are available now. I can... Pretty sure I can attack anybody on the map I choose. Okay, they resisted the freeze. Um, come over here. I don't defend bird as long as they're in water because they're separate terrain, I guess. Odd. I didn't want to waste that on him, but you know, kind of have to. Oh, that was an AOE. Okay, cool. <laughs> Um, fucking ow. Elp. Okay, thank God we can still defend. Jesus. You evading? Oh, are you water? That explains it. There we go. I need to defend her. Since she's NPC, I gotta keep alive. Oh, thank God. She jumped out. Out of the water, this should be very strong. Okay, not extremely strong, but you know, it, it did its damage. I just want you to know this barrier just keeps stacking up. That's the annoying part of the barriers.
Well, that's not good. Oh, you little shit. I'm trying to get my character unbound. Because I want to pick everything up. I'm not sure how long that skin last. That's the concerning part of this. Because if it lasts permanently, that's going to suck. So she'll follow me as long as I have characters heading this way. I don't have to worry about her just going off ahead. Okay, so yeah, he can only handle a certain height. Oh god, he can summon things. That's not good. Can I hit from you? Oh, I can. Hopefully for the freeze. No freeze. That's not good. Oh no, my bird. Ah, oh, god damn it. This again. Oof. I was like, you. Oh, okay, no. She's like, nope, fuck that. She was like, no elf. There we go. Got her out. Uh, we can heal out of this, I believe. Bird was... Doggo was more important there. Okay, so Doggo is going to be fighting back now. 
Ah, you evading bastard. I wish you were closer. No, don't go closer, you dumb dumb. I have to defend you. Thank God we have healers, or we we definitely would uh be dead right about now. Ah, you dick. No. My squirrel. Oh, God, my character. Oh, okay. So when when the hell did you start doing that damage, huh? I guess uh defense actually wore off by now. Oh yeah, I can walk right there. Perfect. Because we get to increase her defense every time she kills. She's she's kind of like Laharl from um, the Skya, in a way. No, you dumb dumb. Fucking heal her. Having the cleanse there is is kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie to you. Hopefully, we can get the freeze. Damn, no freeze. But we are at our uh, thirty-minute mark now. So, funny enough. So this is be one battle, just basically explaining everything. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we did get uh, the talisman for her. So we have a new creature we just collected, and it's just by just defeating them. And they have a chance of dropping their card, their talisman. Alright, and I will record the last two uh, games tomorrow. Since I've lost a lot of time today. <laughs> Excuse me? There's another one after this? Okay, it's saving. It said save. Okay. Good. Because I, I can't do another one right now. Alright, that has been Fae Tactics. Do try it out. It's actually not half bad. I enjoy it. Alright, the next game is called Serum Ultimate. Now, there are actually three other Celeriums. Celerium? Serlum? Serlum? Celerium. I think it's Celerium. <laughs> but there are three other ones, and they are Celerium, Celerium 2, Celerium 3, and Celerium Ultimate. Ultimate is the final one, and I actually like this one a lot. And this is the only one I've actually played, obviously. But, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about his description 
Solarium Ultimate is a monster catching dungeon crawler RPG with ridiculous amount of depth. And that's not our understatement. There is actually a lot of depth to this depth to this game. And you can summon up to 1,200 different creatures and travel through randomly generated dungeons to acquire resources, new monsters, and loot. And I can definitely say the depth thing is not even slept on at all. <laughs> it has a lot of depth to it. And we're just going to show a little bit of that off. Uh, like we gave the other game, I played this before 30 minutes. Oh, uh, oh yeah. This one's weird. This one has a weird saving function. It is dependent on your cloud ID. So if you played it on a different PC, you would need to copy the ID for that piece from that PC and stick it onto a new PC if you guys want, you know, import the file over. It is very odd of a way of saving stuff, which I don't like about this game. Is the same function instead of it just, you know, straight up downloading to my Steam Cloud. That would have been great to have, but for some reason we have a very weird import and export save system. That's the only thing I don't like, but yeah, I had to drag this over. This was the gameplay I did for the first video, but now that I figured out how to get my invoker over here, I'm going to be playing with that. I have four hours into this. And my layout looks a little bit different. I gotta remember everything that's going on here. Oh yeah, we can combine and fuse monsters together. That's one thing. And what was this? Oh yeah, this was the summonings. So if I have enough resources, I can summon some monsters here. Ooh, ooh, he kind of looks neat. This creature can't cast spells manually after this creature takes damage from any source it has a 30% chance to cast one of its spells oh oh huh wait a minute wait wait a minute that could actually be very good huh I'm gonna summon that But yeah, I have a lot of monsters ready. I made it to floor, I believe, 42. So I'm four hours deep into the games. It's not too far in. Uh, you can create these, these gems, which are basically your skills. And the best thing about this is that you just just pretty much set up your any of your monsters any way you feel like like there's a lot of different skills you can put on to your monsters there's a lot of broken builds you can do too uh artifact is also like equipment you can put on to boost a certain stat of a monster here's your wardrobe as well oh whoops Here's your wardrobe to where you can change your clothes. I'm pretty sure you can just earn this as you're playing as well. You can just earn different ones as you're playing. You can also enchant the skills too, as long as you have the resources for it. And also upgrade your artifacts as well. And slip some other gym artifacts on there too. If you have any. And then you have your little pin over here. Which in Pokemon turns you could just 
throw in the character, drag it out, just like the PC. Hold on. Chain spells. After this creature mainly casts a spell, it casts two random other skills that belong to the same class. Wait, what? How this creature... Huh. This creature casts one additional spell. Oh, wait. This creature casts spells one additional time. But there is a 30% reduction to the skill. All skills are 50% more potent. So I would be losing probably up to just 30%. So I would just have a 20% boost, right? Wait, hold on. There might be somebody I want to take out. What about you? This creature first. Oh, your creatures first. Three non. I might drop him. I'm going to drop you instead. And we're going to take out... I'm going to take out servers. And it makes me curious of what I can make with the servers now. Like I said, these are different variants as well. You can see their different skills. This creature can't cast spells manually, but you can equip three additional spell ships at the start of your turn. Oh, at the start of the battle, your creatures gain copies of this. Huh. Hold on. Yeah, let's put some gems on the service before we actually, like, go on. I wonder. Can we just put a whole bunch of party buff on him? Either that, hmm. Or we can do this. I could shield. Damn, okay. I don't have a lot on me. Your creature restores a small amount of HP and grant a small amount of... Mmm. Duration time. So this is this is the part where you can enchant it and start adding on other stats of what it does. But you would have to actually have, you know, the actual stuff for it. Fuck. Uh. 
Already has a max on. Wait a minute. So this is now tier five. So now can I enchant it? So 30% more. So that makes me very curious at how that's going to work out. Um, hi. Start a new... Oh, I made it to... 43. Maximum buffs you can actually carry as well. Ah. Ooh. Let's do three. So now we can actually explore the dungeon, go through, collect resources, and destroy stuff too. Oh, wait. And you can also get, uh, basically every time you fight an enemy, you get stuff added to your, okay, how we're going to deal with this, Jesus, just a whole bunch of dragons, but you can get stuff added to your what was it bestiary and the bestiary gets ranked up and as it gets ranked up i'm pretty sure you can summon stronger monsters <laughs> this is this is what i <laughs> yeah yeah, this is the team I built, all right. <laughs> that that's how I got up here. Um, I wonder if I can show my creatures. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Put up ice storm. Inflate the random debuffs. It's actually funny because. Just having Snowstorm gives such a good chance of things to go off. So I put Snowstorm on everything because Snowform, yeah, Snowstorm actually procs very easily. I just don't have Snowstorm on you. I should have put it on you. Hey, crab. Hi. And the fact that he casts it three times makes that a lot better. That's why I never got rid of the fox. <laughs> Apparently I can just eat that. Oh yeah, I forgot he does have thunder on him. So he'll he'll have a choice between using thunder or ice. I mostly gave him the thunder just in case of a boss. I think one of these enemies actually have something. Oh no. There we go. <laughs> Can I... Do I have any items to revive? I don't believe so. Oh no, they just automatically revive. Okay. They just died during that battle. It's been a long time since I played this.
Like, literally hours... <laughs> hours go by when I'm playing this. This is another game that expired me. Like I said, you guys are going to see three of them. But this is another game that expired me to make Monster Girl Utopia. A dungeon crawler. Everything is about repeating. Um, all of my talents... Oh, hold up. Your character themselves also have skills too. Pretty much all of them are maxed. Not Well, not all of them. I chose certain ones. So, quite a few repeats. Oh wait, did I choose nature? Oh, yeah, okay. I should have chose sorcery instead. I don't think I'm max level, right? Oh yeah, you can construct your your place. I forgot about that. So I need to do all of this to get to rank four construction for my uh, blacksmith. More max projects for that. Okay, that's what it was. These are all the gods in their favors. Uh, the highest one I have is here. I have masteries. But I don't have those yet. Then I have bounty, bounties, bounties. Then guild reputations, which I don't have a guild yet. And the amount of achievements I have. There are a lot of achievements, <laughs> a lot. So if you enjoy achievement hunting, this is actually one of them you can get addicted to. I would say it's great for the Steam Deck, but if I remember correctly, this game is. Is playable on Steam. It's not verified. So I'm not really sure how that looked. Oh, no chest. Nice. If you guys are interested, I can do plays of this game again. Because this, this is a very addicting game. And it's only bad just because I might actually... I might actually end up playing this unironically when I'm bored. Oh, we found the treasure. Okay, so we got some knowledge points. And those knowledge points went to IPC area. So you can also find knowledge scrolls. Other than just defeating the monsters as well. Another enemy. find a taunt. Well, no, I can't actually find a taunt for Doggo, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, there was still one more running around.
I think there's a multicast uh, perk that's going off, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, as it as you cast it once, you can, you know, have a chance to cast it again. And it deals more damage. Ah. It's also another thing I enjoyed. Okay, I think this is what it is. Your creatures have a 25% chance to cast an additional... Oh, yeah, and then it repeats until it fails. That, that's the one thing I love about in poker. Oh, hi. What the hell? Ew. Kill those things. They look disgusting. The music also is pretty peaceful, too. Oh, achievements. Earn twenty un yeah, earn one percent of achievements. And I also got another one that says one earn two percent of achievements. My fucking tongue gunny. Ah, I got Okay, so now I earn favor. And I have 20% more fortune for my loot. And I just earned perks too. This is the best way to earn perk points is just by interacting with the gods. So now I have 10 perk points and I can slowly just, you know, keep on going with this. Apparently I can rank this all the way up to 100 as well. Um, is that everything on this map? I think I might be missing a little bit up there. Yeah, it looks like some, some stuff over here. Or did I not? Okay, yeah, I think I already have. I think we're good. I think we can just go on now. Wait, hold up. A little bit of darkness over here. Okay, now we missed some stuff over here. Ah, chess. Life Shaper. Alright, cool. I think that's everything now. You can also see what the rank of everything is as well. And what you are actually ready to summon. Alright, 44.
Um, did I get it? I think I got it on the first try, maybe? Hopefully. So it's not just auto, these are just passive that are going off. Then after the passives, each monster gets their own turn. I know it may look auto, but it's not. <laughs> ah, oh, I don't like that. Cease that activity. Oh, hi. Oh, okay. Bros literally talk to shit. Is that a wiener Nanny has hanging between his legs? Censor that. I probably won't. I'm too lazy. You guys have to look at that all in your all in its glory. Wow, dude really talked all that smack and lost. Crazy. Thank you for my perks. Nothing down there. Nah. Ooh, no chest there. But, um, oh yeah, I forgot to talk about this. Um, yeah, I should have talked about this at the beginning of the video. But, the development for this has started back. I, I, damn it, I totally forgot about this. So developers actually announced on their Steam patch notes that development has resumed and they're going to be adding new modes and more. So they're doing quality of life fixes. They have a backer shop that is going on too to back up the new updates coming if you guys want to. And not only that, new content for like sandbox, ruthless mode, story skip mode, and randomizer and com mode to where it's a lot easier for players. I'm more interested in the randomizer because that sounds like a lot of fun. But, um, yeah, they, they've recently started back, started back development for it. And that was announced uh, April the 24th. And it looks like their backer shop is actually going on pretty well right now. Okay, so now I can eat those uh, annoying cabbages. Look how random she is. Why are you still hitting that spot? Yeah, she's still gonna keep hitting that spot. Yeah, there's the hill, thank god.
Guys, this is Jesus. Okay, this is going to be annoying. Because yeah, I can't hit only anyone else at the moment. Forgot that I can just spam this. This is also another reason why I love the fox. Oh god, I'm frozen, aren't I? Oh, so I thought. Damn it. What are you doing? After an enemy casts a spell, you have a chance. Okay. Stupid. I have no revives at all. <laughs> Damn. But, uh, let's go see what can I summon here. I say like, it's time to go to the next game anyway. So that's actually a good thing that we died. Oh, Kraken. As long as this creature hasn't gained or lost attack, it has a... Oh. It has Berserk. Oh. Huh. We gotta build a uh, Cerberus nothing but like defense. That's for sure. Like defense and HP. I'm gonna. Okay. You know... We're going to end it off there before I actually like start going labbing and I need to stop. But our next game is now. All right. So the next game is called uh, Bug Snack. And I'm pretty sure quite a bit of people have heard of it. But also, it's something I've never actually played before. And this is where I, and this is the last game I had went during my recording session that I had realized that none of my audio went through. So yeah, we're going to try this game out and see how it is. It is labeled as a creature collector. And you, some of you guys have probably never heard about snacks. It's been out for two years now. So let's go ahead and try it out. See how it is. All right. So I'm going to start a new game here. Considering this right here did not count at all. Because because I wasn't paying attention at all until I looked at my audio not going through. But uh, yeah, bug snacks. Oh yeah, we didn't go through the description, did we? But it wasn't much of a description. It was just basically share snacks with your friends, stuff like that. You guys read it. Uh Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> My ship! <laughs> no! Wait! Hold on! 
please. Oh, it despawned. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to see that. Oh, dude, my belly. Damn, dude. Just This is just perfectly representing me. I mean, I'm not that chubby just yet, but, you know, I'm on the pathway there. <laughs> Say spider or frider? Wait, frider. Fries? <laughs> is that what that was? Oh, God. Sensitivity. Hold on. Let me turn a DPI on my mouse down. Okay. Oh, we got a little crawling action going. Okay, okay. No. What was that? Oh, there's another thing I don't think I was supposed to see. But, uh... <laughs> Oh, and they sent me all the way back here? What the fuck, man? So you can crouch with C or control. That's nice. I say I hate pushing C for crouch. Oh. Oh, okay. Huh. Interesting. Actually, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I want to make sure all my graphics are high, you know? You gotta enjoy this game, Twitch cool. I mean, nothing's lagging yet. But we're, we're gonna say, you know? You know, you know. You know. Ooh. Yo, wait a minute. This isn't supposed to be a horror game. It's supposed to be about snacks, dude. Chill out. What the fuck? Cease. Oh, you're the bastard who destroyed my chip, you ass! Little pizza slice. D damn. Okay. <laughs> That's how we're starting this out? Two weeks earlier. I'm gonna try and uh, put an hour of this, since it's a game I haven't played before. Really? Ah, that's that's why it's gay. <laughs> I saw the LTB thing and I was like, wait a minute, why is this game classified as gay? <laughs> that, that explains. I don't think I would ever still want to eat something live, though. Ah, well, he'll walk it off. Bilbo will walk it off. Leave him alone. Just give him my two seconds. No, I don't. Why would you? <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of Vina Pinata for some reason. It just gives me Vina Pinata vibes. Huh? Nani? Oh, hi. Oh, I remember that belly anywhere, and that's my belly. <laughs> Monster hunt? Do you have any idea? Ah, so I work for journalists. Me? Okay. I had to recall half a million papers and give a public apology. All because your grump foot turned out to be a lost football mascot. We've been over this. It doesn't matter how eye catching your articles are if I'm stuck cleaning up your sloppy work. Rude. You're already out of second chances. And now you're gonna follow Elizabeth to some grump forsaken island? Elizabeth Megafig is either a con artist or a lunatic! Remember that whole mess with Grump Lantis? This bug snacks thing is just her latest delusion. Maybe Grump Lantis actually exists? You don't know that. Oh, I got choices. 
Why can't you believe in bug snack? What's wrong with Island? What do you know about? Not a little famous after stumbling across some forgotten civilization in Grumpsylvania. She's been coasting Grumpsylvania. Every place is just called Grumpsel. Because I've got a working brain. Do your research. Ships go missing around there all the time. The place is like me before I get my coffee. Deadly. Okay, well, I'm going. Only a desperate loser would follow Lisbert. Oh, wow. Rude. Well, what the fuck? My feeling. It is a tantalizing story, if true. We'll just have to hear it from Lisbert herself. Oh, uh, so now so you change you your mind? Interview with her and make it back alive. You just might keep your job. Now get going and try not to fall off a cliff or something. Ah, crazy. Crazy that you say that. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm awake. <laughs> Oh, I can't move. Am I crippled? Oh. A little strawberry, dude. He was kind of shaking. Man, was kind of... Kind of... Taking it around. What? <laughs> you good, bro? Is that a... Uh, Philo? Philo? Whatever his name was. Philo? Bulu? Oh, yeah. Bebo. Did they just leave you laying there? <laughs> I will say this. If the whole village is built inside of... Inside of, like, two weeks... Oh. Check behind a waterfall for secrets. Oh! I got achievements. Nice. I feel like I could jump that, right? What's this? Oh, this is definitely a secret. I I know a secret when I when I smell one over there. I mean, the so far it's like pretty fluid, optimized pretty well. Little strawberry, little strawberry legs. Okay. Hey, buddy, why are you looking at me like that? You're alive. Too bad I'm dying, though. You'll be fine. What? What is this? Me, Philbo. I was looking for you, but uh, I got hungry and I couldn't catch any bug snacks. This... What? That's a weird question, Lisbert. Wait, you're not Lisbert. Nah, no shit. Nah. I might as well. Ow. Deserved. Um, I think there's a bug snack right over there. Could you get a good look at it? I know which one it is for me. A little strawberry. Oh, that's physics. My belly pushes over. Hiding bush. Oh, I have a little, I have a little camera, huh? Oh. I don't know what that symbol is. Bro just brought that out of his ass. Can we talk about that? His tracks come out of this bush. Put the snack trap down there, and then we'll hide. All right, let's hide behind this rock. Or I could just be over here. That also works too. <laughs> I caught my first bug snack. So I can feed it to you. Awesome. Oh, it mutated. Oh. oh, yes. 
You should get that checked out. What happened to your arm? Oh, this? Pretty neat, huh? It's a side effect of eating bug snacks. Anywho, I'm still recovering. I could use maybe three more bug snacks. I'm sure that scope of yours will come in handy. Skin and plan, I always say. <laughs> wait, so you haven't... Wait. So I guess that's temporary, right? Since he hasn't been transformed before we got here. So they haven't either that or they haven't eaten for like a whole... Two weeks of coming here? My trap! You ass! Drop my shit! Drop it! Cease! Cease this activity! Hand it over! Dude, you're being a douche! Can I shoot it? Oh, okay. Damn douche. Come here. Bullshit. Being bullied, man. Hold on. So, probably behind the waterfall? Got you, little shit. Come here. Doesn't seem like you have to go through, like, too much of a... You little shit. Cease! Get out of here. Shit. You know you want it. Come on. Grab it. Come on. Oh my god. Not close enough. Okay. There we go. There you go. I'm gonna I'm gonna hide behind a tree. I'm totally invisible now. Ha! Here we go, little shit. Hey, you. How you doing? Um here's another strawberry. And now you're a fr free I was gonna say a fruity pirate. <laughs> Sorry, I was too busy dying to introduce myself. You'll be I'm fine. I'm Bilbo Fiddlepie. I'm the, uh, mayor around here. Self-proclaimed mayor? Um, sorry if this is a stupid question, but, uh, what are you doing out here? Don't worry about it. You're doing best Well, case. good news. They're all over the place. <laughs> it's hard, hard to catch, though. I know who you are. You're the journalist. I knew it was stupid to ask. Bisbert said you'd be coming. Hmm, you're a bit late, though. Uh, still, it's my job to show you the way to town. Follow me. <laughs> the little wobble. <laughs> Pretty neat game so far. Hey, buddy. I have to tell you something. What? I'm supposed to take you home, but Lisbur might not be there. Okay. Why are you saying? I don't know where Lisbur is? I was out here looking for her. But who knows? Maybe she will be there when we get back. I'm sure she wouldn't Doubt. want to miss her interview with you. 
Doubt. Go, buddy? No. Through here. Yeah. Yeah, now, dude. Fucking strawberry shrimp. Neat little loading screen. Okay, okay. Garden Grove. Hey, Wambus. How's Wambus? <laughs> You're still alive? Thought you'd have starved to death by now. Nope. <laughs> I found a journalist. They're also pretty good at hunting bug snacks. I was gonna bring them back to Snacksburg. That's nice. Don't you want to come with? No. W why not? I got my paws full with my ketchup crop. Without Lisbert around to catch bug snacks, I gotta keep us all fed. Uh, We're not gonna talk about Wampers actually knowing that he was out there starving to death. A Wampus. No, no, but uh, but this garden is just so far away from everybody. Maybe you could start another one in town. Call this one quits. I don't quit. Stubborn. Kindly leave and take a ketchup for the road. Whoa! Darn bunger! Get out of here! Stranger, I could use your help. This bunger goes wild for ketchup. Ah, you shouldn't have threw it. Nearby, take my soft slinger, gather up some ketchup, and use it to lead the bunger over yonder. Yonder, but you, you shouldn't have fucking threw it if you knew bungers really enjoyed it, bro. Like the fuck. We're gonna take all your ketchup now. Oh. You little shit. Look, look, right here. There we go. Hold on, let me reload. I'm reloading. I'm reloaded. Let's chat. Uh, I'd hate bug snacks if they weren't so darn delicious. D okay. <laughs> Thanks, stranger. We better go check on Philbo. Mm, that man is halfway across the island, probably. He'll be fine. Don't walk it off. Oh, uh, don't you worry. I'm a, I'm a little sore, but uh, I'll be a okay. I'm just happy you're getting along with Wambus. He's having a hard time, and his wife isn't around much these days. So, uh, just see if you can help him out. I'll stay here until my brain stops hurting. You seem to get stranger. in trouble a I lot. Mean for Philbo to get hurt like that. Yeah, okay. He's right though. I'm in over my head. I know farming would be easier back in town. And those shishka bugs and bungers keep harassing me. Well, I'll be uh, maybe you should go to the town. Those walking appetizers make me go home starving. Let's start with the fryer. Lure it down with ketchup and then let me eat it. Oh, okay. I feel like in some way this is cannibalism. <laughs> I don't know why, but somehow this is cannibalism. Ah! My trap! What the fuck? My trap, man. Shiska bug? Is that what he's saying? Oh, 
Oh, I kind of wanted to see if I can catch him first. Is he not going to come out? Oh, okay. Well, kind of just wanted to see if I can catch him, but I okay, I'll cast a fighter then. saying where's my camera again yeah six to the bub bug oh you can also see their pattern too bro is still in there by the way he, he's not coming out he was just like nah dude through this But like I said, all creature collectors don't have to necessarily be similar to Pokemon. I can't just punch it. So obviously some of them are just going to be like, you know, slice of life, some peaceful stuff, farming. Here you go. I didn't like how to clip through your leg. Tastier than I thought. Now. I want to eat those darn shish bugs. Those pests are easy to spook, and they don't even like ketchup. Not sure why they bother with me. Figure out how to wrangle them, and I'll be set. <laughs> All right, dude, I'll figure out how to wrangle them. That one's still stuck in the bush, by the way. Okay, so he's going to go between bushes. Oh, this is your new path now? Shit. There we go. Okay, so they're going to go between bushes. So what other bush can you run to? Oh, you can run to that one. Oh, shit. Okay, I was too close. You also gotta... <laughs> you also gotta think about it. Developers have been making these noises. You literally have a developer going around Bunger. <laughs> I think so far Bunger is my favorite just because he's little googly eyes. Just how how airheaded he is. <laughs> I was hoping you would have put it on the other arm. Now I'm OCD about this. Alright, last bit of business. Let's get revenge on those bungers. They're too wily for your trap, but if you can get them all woozy and vulnerable, you can scoop them right up with this net. Hmm. So can I get them to run to a post? Bunger, 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 bunger
Okay, no. Uh, can I get them to run into each other? There we go. Going. You're a bunger. Just because I can. Now you little. Oh, so it changes like different components. I was wondering why I didn't just change the whole leg. That's dealt with for now. They'll be back eventually. Well, I'm fixing to get my old garden growing again. Oh, you really mean it? Let's get moving right away. You know, you're a pretty good hunter. Like Philbo said, it's been rough since Lisbert vanished. Been rougher for some than others. Uh, hey, and sure could use help with this tree. Well, best not to dwell. You hold on, I got this. Y'all just get along now. I'll catch him. Okay, cease, cease these jokes. I dislike. <laughs> Ew. Um, like, oh my God, is this squeeb really talking to me right now? Ew. I'm not a squeeb. It says right here on my snack scope. Philbo, personality type, squeeb. Skills, none. Friends, none. Damn. It says that because you wrote that in yourself. It also says you're a terrible leader. Rude. You... Uh, uh. Like, are you still here? Zonk off, squeeb. Ill. Your whole face is ill. O-M-G. You're that journalist. I haven't seen a new face in like forever. I'm Bethica Winkle Snoot, and I know everything. About Winkle everybody. Snoot? No fucking way. Dude. That Wambus guy is married, but his wife totally wouldn't come farm with him. So tragic. Okay, she's a gossip queen. I love your snack scope. You and me are toads twinsies. No, no, we're not. Please cease. Stuff. Let me take a peek at your journal. No. You lost your journal? No big deal. You can borrow one of mine. I keep them in my cave. Bring it here. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> what, you want me to go into your house and just bring you your shit? That's crazy. Yeah, just go into my house and bring it, you know? <laughs> can, I, yeah, can I borrow some sugar? Yeah, you can just go into my house and bring it here. How do you even know? How do you even know that I was looking at your diary? You can't even see over here. You can just you can totally just grab the shit, you know? Totally just grabbing it around. Ugh. Yeah, how the hell did you even see that? <laughs> I need a lot of answers from you. Way to play fetch. Okay, now open it up. Okay. Tab. Okay, so there's ah, uh, okay, here's where the collecting comes in. So there's a quite a few, not a whole bunch. That's my bag. What is this? This is a clues page. Where I keep all the progress of finding Elizabeth. Alright. So she pretty much hates, just hates everyone. Just 
just a carrot with googly eyes. I mean, most of it's just animals with googly eyes on them. <laughs> So this is my quest, right? Yeah, these are all my quests. So I could pin this. And here's my map. Okay, there's quite a few areas in here too. We can see our tools as well. So that's everything. Okay. With the snack scope winds up in the journal. I have more for you to do. The magic but journal. Lambus is scaring all the snacks away. You'll have to come back later. Until then, you should get Bilbo out of here. <sighs> Let's get this over with, buddy. Poor Feeble. Just getting bullied left and right. <laughs> well, here we are. Dude, you guys built this in two weeks, by the way. Can we can we just fucking note that? Why it takes <laughs> most actual construction workers like a whole month to five months to a year to build a single fucking house or repair a fucking road. Let's get moving. <laughs> like, that's just something that I have to let be known. Find your way to Snackburg. Building all this in two weeks is crazy. I'm sorry. I guess you're not going to get that interview with Lisbert just yet. Okay. Really? Me? I mean, if you want to. Um, <laughs> ask away, I guess. Oh, okay. This is odd. I'm Philbo Fiddlepie. I guess I'm sort of like a deputy mayor. I don't know. Self-proclaimed. Most stuff, but I like to help out. Okay. Well, Lisbert asked me to tag along, so I dropped everything, and here I am. Thought some books oh, They're great. I mean, they taste good, and they make everybody happy. So, what's not to love? Oh, they're great. I'm, oh, they're great. Oh, like, I was wondering what would happen if I go back. over something new. Lisbeth was, is awesome. She always knew what to do, and she brought out the best in all of us. She leave me in charge of watching Snacksburg when she went out hunting. Did she now? So that's why you became mayor? I mean, I wasn't really in charge. Like I said, self-proclaim. Knew it. <laughs> but as long as Lisbert came back with bug snacks, everything was fine. One day, Lisbert went out hunting and she didn't come back. I tried to step up and keep everybody calm. Well, technically, I was in charge, right? But uh, that didn't last long. Why didn't it last? It was a big fight, and then an earthquake, and. Then everybody decided they'd be better off alone. They couldn't even keep us together for one day. I honestly don't know what Lisbeth saw in me. I think we're done here. Uh, End sorry, your depression. Buddy. I didn't want to bum you out. Lisbeth might be gone, but you're here now. Nobody listened to me, but but you? I'm not doing your work. Stuff. No. Well, nobody hates you yet. Yeah. Catch bug snacks and bring everybody back to Snacksburg. No, I don't want to do that. Here, you can do some more interviews and figure out what happened to Lisbert. You should find Gramble on the beach. If we get his ranch going again, that'll be a big help. You could also go back and talk to Bethlehem, I guess. Anyway, I'll be here <laughs> if you need any advice. All right. Good luck, buddy. 
Not your buddy, pal. Any oh. You got several quests. Okay, okay. So he said this way, right? So all the ones I've caught inside of my journal actually pop up for the loading Let's screen. I actually like that. A surprising discovery. You. You are the ignoble journalist. Despite your lack of any and all useful skills, I require Rude. assistance. Fuck. Okay, I wouldn't go that far. Have you seen the game journalist we have now? Ah. <laughs> that first question is wild. Now. My experiments were halted with the unfortunate disappearance of Egabel. Since the settlement's dissolution, finding new subjects has been vexing. Uh. No, seriously, who are you? Who asks questions rather than answering them? Silence yourself and listen. You've likely witnessed Grumpus limbs transforming into bug snacks. I call this process snackification. Okay. Under normal circumstances, this occurs at random. However, I have developed a method to direct the effect to specific limbs. It's simple once you understand the internal mechanisms behind the molecular dissemination of snack particles. The fuck did you just say to me? <sighs> this is the snackivator. Feed me strabby. Poke snackivator in foot. Foot turns into strabby. Understand? Okay. Yes. Hey, I see. Neat. Very good. I will allow you to field test the snack activator for the time being. I meanwhile have some very interesting plans for my leg. Hey yo. What are you gonna do with your leg? Okay. Nah, we gotta follow her. She's up to something diabolical. Hold on a second. Brother, you just walked on there. What are you up to? I must know now. What what plans do you have for that leg? Ma'am. Crap. Ma'am. Oh, God. Oh, shot. Souls, brother. Come on, you old shit. Come on in. Come on out. Bet you want. Ha, I got you. First try, by the way. Ah, oh, whoops. Ah, damn it. I thought it was a little bit clever, you know. Ah, oh. <laughs> I looked away just for a second. Okay, so we have a shell. What is this one? Oh, I was wondering. I got you, little shit. No! Gimme! <laughs> I don't know if that's how I was supposed to catch that, but you know. 
Hey, it worked out. Don't worry about it. What the hell's that? Um, a little ball in there. Hold on a second. I'm in a little ball. No? Okay. Huh. I wonder if I can find... Uh, hold on, let me grab some more of these. Because you guys make a lot of noise. Jesus. Um, before we talk to them... I think we can get the pineapple one. you for this area. Ah, got it. Okay, there we go. I figured that's how it was, how it was supposed to go. Hi, Hi Lash. Okay, dude. <laughs> These names. I do find it funny that they did the whole Pokemon reference where they're just saying her names. <laughs> oh, grandma, my love you is true. So gentle, sweet, and kind, just like the ocean. Okay, okay, rizz them up. Okay, now you fucking ruined it. You can you can stop that. Cease. Cease. Cease all of this. Wiggle, your song's nice and all, but you're scaring the little ones. Oh, sorry, Gramble. Inspiration is so hard to find. I just have to sing wherever it strikes me. Okay, I hate her already. Well, Never mind. Maybe it could strike you over there. Oh, but I'd hate to go alone. Won't you join me for a long walk on the beach? Bro, you got a chance. A date? Of course, darling. It would just be you, me, and your delectable strabbies. Singing the night away until we drift off to sleep. No! Uh, sorry. Every time I go to sleep around you, my snacks just up and vanish. So no to all that. Ah, oh, yeah, she definitely... Still, maybe. <laughs> oh, very well. I will go and seek my inspiration. Hello! Okay, <laughs> cease. <laughs> oh, my dear. Oh, calm down, little ones. Wiggle means well. She just don't understand you like I do. I might eat one, too. Not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna yoink this little motherfucker right there. <laughs> Who are you? Haven't seen you around here before. You got a problem with me, buddy? Bug snacks. You best turn back. These little ones are my kin. I will eat them right now. Well, that's a relief. Sorry to be short with you. I haven't slept much lately. I'm Gramble Giggle Funny. I'm an Giggle Fun. Okay, dude. These names. Have you talked to Wiggle yet? Oh, she's real nice. Though she can come off a bit, uh, <clears throat> strong. I'm not too keen on going to town, but I'm running out of room down here. I want to get back to my barn. Trouble is, some of my snacks went missing. I'm not going back till they're all home. If you want to help me, then I got a friend to introduce you to. 
Uh. Okay, so I can go to sleep. Maybe some snacks are nocturnal, and some of them are only chopin' the day. See that, Strabby? That there's Sprout. I've been okay. training him to follow my pointer in his buggy ball. We were in the middle of training. See if you can guide Sprout back here to us. Damn, dude, we just snatched that shit. <laughs> Mm, little pointer, okay. Come on, you little strawberry bastard. Bastard. No, you little strawberry. Come on. Got you little shit. No, all right. No, you what the fuck right here. This <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. Boink. He likes <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Sprout's always been a good judge of character. Sprout loves adventure. Ah, uh, he won't like me for long, I swear. You're gonna you're gonna beam him into the ocean. Anyway. Missing my three peel bugs. They like to hide out inside little holes around the beach. Please find them. Those little cuties must be so scared without me. Are those the peel bugs? Huh. I see, I see, I see. Come here, you little shit. I see, I see. I as fast learner, I know where they are. Is he, oh, is he gonna come out of that one? Okay, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I wonder if I can get a two for one deal. Got you, little shit. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Wait, the ball. Oh, the ball is the stupid pineapple thing. That's what it is. So I'm currently full. Cool. So what, do I just want to go and start feeding? I can't feed anybody at the moment. Huh. That one's on the other side. I guess we'll get rid of the crab. Because that crab is actually easy to grab. I got your bugs. You got my little ones back! But, geez, you spooked them real good. They don't even want to unroll. They don't like being in your trap much. Oh, no, no. two Queebles missing, but I want you to bring them to me without cap. Lucky you got Sprout to help out. Smother him in chocolate, and those Queebles will follow him till the end of time.
Why you little shit? Come on. Fall for the trap. Joey, you're back. Oh, Grump, I missed you so much. I think the other one is over here as well. Wait. Isn't that? Oh no, didn't I get rid of all of them? Oh no, I think I did. That I know of, I'm pretty sure I caught all of them. No, there's supposed to be another one over here. That I... Can you fucking not, mate? Why? Cease your activity. Oh, I was, I was about to say, there should be another one. Alright, there we go. Okay, yoink. You did it. Oh, my kin are all together again. I'm so happy I could cry. Here goes. <laughs> okay, no, no, we can stop that. Ew. Ew. I'm ready to head back to the ranch. Thanks for all your help. I want you to take Sprout with you. He's always wanted a lot. Yeah, I like Sprout. He's fine. holding him back. Sprout. Papa's got a job to do. All your friends are going to a new home. Old home. Going with this nice grumpus right here. I'll miss you something fierce, but it's okay. You can come see Papa anytime. No, he can't. He'll be in my stomach. I mean, what? <laughs> you take care of Sprout. Or else. Or else what, loser? Hope you trip on the way there. So what happened to what's her name? Ah, seems like I can get to a lot of high places, and that gives me an idea of breaking stuff. Okay, never mind. There's borders. <laughs> but then again, it's been out for two years. Maybe somebody's already done it before me. Wait a minute. You're new. Oh, there you are. Hold on. Is there any more of those little kiwi things? your activities stop this 
I'm also not taking a picture of these things. Damn it, I wish I can get them out of there. Because I don't think any more of those Kiwi things are around. Oh, you're a raspberry. Okay, so yeah, you're new. At first, I couldn't tell if you were a strawberry or not. you with chocolate. See what happens. Wait. Yeet. Okay, so what would you do with it? I just put it on top of his house. That's pretty much it. <laughs> okay, that that's pretty much it. That's that's all we have for today. All right, book snacks. Pretty neat. Definitely one of those little more peaceful games. I feel like it'll be decently long, from what I'm seeing. But I don't. Well, actually, no, I don't. I don't actually know. I don't feel like it'll be that long, but looking at the map, it probably could be that long. Yeah, and there's quite a bit that you can catch, too, for each area. And plus, we just unlocked this area, so there's probably a lot of them in each area. Okay. I just realized it's, it's talking about calories too. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> it's a it's a silly little game. I like it. Pretty funny. But uh, yeah, that has been uh. Oh, she moves. I didn't actually realize that. Oh, and that just came back, too. Oh, they don't like her resistance, though. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, yo. You just suck him off? Wait, wait a minute. That's, that's a weird way to end off this video. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll, uh... Basically, do the outro now. All right, so we have come to the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And if you guys have any recommendations of probably a creature collection you think people have never heard of, do give me, you know, a drop down a comment, and I will actually try and make it into an like an actual video. Um, I don't really use my twitter too much anymore so that's kind of like out of the question either that or you guys can use the community tab i use the community tab of my youtube channel a lot more than any other social media just because it's more simple and more easy and it's just there more convenient so that's also another thing if you guys want to keep up with monster girl utopia and the progress of it 
and I appreciate you guys watching. And hopefully I'll have more games for you guys for the Creature Treasure Hunt series sooner or later. But that's it. Until then, peace out.